everybody, welcome to this week's newsletter. I'm Graham Bell and I'm in the lab. The weather has turned shocking. Yes, at this time of year people say, maybe October to May, put the clubs away. But no, if you want to get better at golf, seriously better at golf, you do, you need to practice properly. That's the, the bare bones of it. It's instruction, a little bit, practice, huge bit. If you want to improve, we can help you improve. It's it's not complicated, I don't think, to help somebody with their golf. Uh, I think it, there's a systematic way to do it. Uh, everybody is different uh, with their golf sw swings, but at the end of the day, there's certain things that every good golfer does that probably you don't do. So within the lab in here, you want to see what you're doing. In, in three dimensions, right? Looking at it in video is sometimes a good idea, but for me, looking at how the club uh, performs at impact and what you're doing at impact is seriously, seriously important. And looking at the different things that we measure in here can help you get better. So I'm gonna show you now a little uh, screenshot of the data that we get uh, that can help you. Enjoy. So this is the sort of data we get from uh, the quad launch monitor. As you can see in the bottom right, the golf club, you can see the red dot. That's where the strike is measured. So you can go in for a session and see where all your strikes hit. Now, if you don't hit in the centre of the golf club consistently, then if you look at the box above uh, with the ball saying straight, then the ball will not behave properly, okay, regardless of what your club path is doing. So it's a kind of problem solving exercise. We understand why you're not hitting the shots that you want. Uh, the strike, as I say, is the most important and that will affect the tilt of the ball. Now, also, if you look to the big box uh, top left, you'll see the club path. It says like two degrees in to out. So that's you never want somebody to have a massive bias either way, in to out or out to in. It can affect certain shots that you want to play, certain clubs that you want to play. Uh, so that is important, but we always start at the strike first because it's got the biggest impact on your ball flight. And then if you look at the bottom left box, you'll see delivered loft, launch angle, spin, Angle of attack there, 4.4 degrees downwards. I don't expect you to know all of these things and understand them. That's my job. So what we do is we look at certain aspects of this, uh, show you how to practice to change them. You do the practice, we measure it, and you change them. It's not, for example, say if you slice the ball badly, I could pretty much change your data in a couple of minutes. It's not being arrogant, it's just being honest uh, with the drills that we can employ. Uh, if you look at the, the angle of attack again, that's something that is important for certain shots. So for example, if somebody didn't really, if somebody hit up in the ball with an iron, we can, we can make the assumption, a very, very good assumption that they cannot get out of rough. So these things impact on your golf game. It's my job and everybody else at the Golf Performance Lab's job to show you what's relevant to you. It doesn't have to be confusing. We will not let it be confusing. We will show you exactly what you need to work on and why and the practice. You can see yourself getting better. You don't have to get worse to get better. It's not all about changing your golf swing and having to do mad things with it or look at a video and be depressed at what you're looking at. It's actually quite simple. The hard thing is getting you to practice. And that's what our packages do over the winter. You can come into the lab and practice. Don't go to Top Tracer. It's honestly, it's... it's it, it's a tool, but it really isn't there to give you much information. It's more of a theatre object, as I said before. Come in, I'll show you what we do. I guarantee improvement. I really do. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Back to me in the lab. So when you go to, a, say, a driving range for a lesson, okay, you're looking at the ball flight. Everybody goes, oh, I need to see the ball flight outside. Now, what you're not taking into account is the weather. The weather is horrific. So you'll often be playing into left to right, right to left, into the wind, downwind. It's very difficult for you to get an idea of what your golf ball is doing in that environment. In here, it's a null environment. 
So when you go to a range with Trackman or Top Tracer, it may seem an amazing idea, but ultimately you're not really getting any accurate data. You're getting maybe downwind where the ball's going. You sometimes it tracks the other ball. It's re for me, it's a little bit of theatre at, at its best. It's not going to help you get better. With the data I've just shown you, we can show you where you're going wrong, give you practice drills, proper practice drills to do to improve the numbers, and you can see the improvement. When I get taught, I was told I would get worse before I would get better. And I don't believe that. I think that's an absolute pack of nonsense. When we give you the simple instructions we will give you to practice better, to change your uh, your impact uh, data, you will see yourself getting better. You will see, oh, that number's changing, and that number's changing, and the carry distance is changing, the spin is more consistent. You don't need to know everything, but when you use technology like we've got, it's easier to get better. It really is. It's not, oh, man, I remember getting a lesson and taking the club now, drop it inside and I ripped the pocket off my trousers. I wasn't fully disrobed, but it was mental. And from that day, I had a purpose, I felt. I thought that I could make this easier for people, and I can. So, with that in mind, we've created packages for practice in here and education. And it's quite simple. You will see yourself getting better. We will make you practice better. And you'll never have to go to a driving range and look at rubbish data again. You'll be able to practice in here. Now, say you don't want a lesson, you want to come in here and practice. Yeah, we can help you with that as well. It's, it's the complete environment to get better at golf. It really is. Now, for this, those of you who have never visited in here, more than happy to show you about tell you what it's all about, explain why it's good for you, okay? So you'll see all the different packages on the newsletter and let me know if you're interested. But there is a guarantee here. The guarantee is we will change your numbers. We will make you better. The practice is up to you. If you practice, you can ingrain these things. If you don't practice, then it, it won't work. But going to a driving range and spending 10 quid in balls and the peeing rain and the wind isn't going to make you better. You come in here and rent it for 10 quid and you get good numbers. And that's what it's all about. It's about measuring. You never want to do anything in life if you don't measure. Measure how much you drink. Measure how much you earn. Measure how much interest that the bank's giving you. But in golf, it's always you take the professional's word for it, and I don't think that's right. We back up our, our, our words with data, and that is as straightforward as that. So, that was a very educational newsletter, uh, but I feel it's time to, to get you all to practice better, because October to May, put the clubs away. No, October to May, I'm going to make your day. That was the comedy of the newsletter this week. So let us know, get in touch, uh, any questions, don't hesitate to pop in. I'll show you what it does. It's amazing. It really is amazing and it will improve you. I've been Graham Bell. You've been watching a nice serious newsletter with a little bit of bad humour in it.